So, firstly, introduce yourself, Charles. Right, my name is Anthony Jones. I'm a photographer, which I've been doing all my life. I'm um, kind of an art photographer, so I have exhibitions and, and things like that. And, um, yeah. So, what is your, I suppose, style of photography, or what do you like capturing? Well, I like street photography, actually, but um, I'm, I've been living on, on uh, it should be for around about a year now. It's kind of, uh, it sort of inspired me to think about different ways um, about producing photographs. So, tell us about what you're doing here today at the cottage. Okay, yeah, today I'm making um, uh, photograms, which are the earliest type of photo photograph. I mean, they were probably invented probably at the same time as the cottage was being built in the 1830s. And, um, and they're, as you can probably see, they're quite um, um, decorative in a sense. What, what you do is you take a piece of photographic paper and you place an object on it and then you expose it to sunlight. And then you, um, you fix it. And, uh, and you produce these sort of pictures. So some of the earliest photographers would, would have done like plants and things. So you have done quite a lot of, um, of plants. But what I'm doing at the moment is I'm going around the cottage and finding things which, um, which you know, are kind of interesting. So I've done um, there's a feather, piece of lace. And at the moment I'm doing um, a, a glove. So it's all much like capturing the sort of silhouette or the projection um, of absolutely, an Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, it's a silhouette, yeah. And then I've got a display over there of other, um, other kinds of photograms. So was this kind of a, an early um, photography, in a way, before cameras could really take good quality um, images? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, some people think that the, uh, a photograph is a chemical reaction to light. And some people believe that even in the 1500s, people knew that chemicals reacted to light. But the problem is that they didn't know how to fix them. And once, and in the 1820s, 30s, they discovered the chemicals to fix them. So, um, so they've always really been able to take photo or make photographs rather than take them. And, uh, you know, and this is this is this is the birth of photography. It's quite amazing because you know you're not using um, sort of equipment in the sense of a camera, so it's, it's yeah. quite achievable. It sounds. Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, one of the earliest photographers was someone who um, who lived in Kent actually. Her name is Anna Atkins, and she made um, uh, cyanotypes, which are blue um, photographs. And um, so Kent is, though not the the county of the birth of photography, one of the earliest photographers was from Kent, so that's, I think that's quite a nice, nice badge for, for the county. So how come they are blue and yours are almost like a brown? Is that well, because different? this uses iron, um, right. iron crystals, and um, the photographic paper uses um, um, silver. But actually what I've done is I've, um, I've toned them with tea as well, because the early photographs that of this kind were kind of brown. And, you know, we kind of think of, of brown um, uh, photographs, and that's, yeah. that's kind of what I've, I've tried to recreate there. So when you um, sort of capture this image, does it actually damage, like, it looks like cloth there and, and the ferns? Are they sort of ruined by this process or, or not? Well, uh, <laughs> as I said, I've been using objects from the, yeah. the cottage, so I haven't ruined anything yet. Right. I mean, with plants, they would do. But there's, you know, the boa feather and the lace there. And as I say, this is um, this is um, a this is a glove. You yeah. see. So I shall, I shall now take it off. So you have it in the window. Right. And unfortunately, I'll read it. Your listeners can't see that, but that, but it will. It creates a silhouette, which you then put in the chemical. If you don't put it in fixer, then it will, it'll all just go dark blue, like, like the background right. is there. Yeah. So is it special paper, or is the paper been treated in another chemical? It's, it's photographic paper. Right. So, so you would, this is black and white photographic paper, so you would make, if you were using, um, rather than digital, if you were working in the dark yeah. room, then you would use that, that, that kind of paper. That kind of paper, and then it's the the liquid chemical that fixes it. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And uh, I assume something like this could last, you know, for years. Forever. 
Yeah. I mean, there are photographs from 1830 that, that are still in existence. Yeah. Uh, is, do you have any sort of um, like websites or things where people can find out what you do or see your kind of work? Okay, yeah, my website is ajphoto.info and uh, it's all there. And I'm on Twitter, of course. Well, thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us today. Oh, thank you, pleasure.